All right, all right, Ben. Uh, you've been in the industry for quite some time now, taking photos for businesses, restaurants around New Zealand, mm -hmm. and uh, especially around Auckland, and working closely with local businesses. Yeah. Um, because of COVID nineteen, how do you think local businesses should go? You know, what's the what's the future looking like for the next twelve months? Well, the consensus that I'm getting from local businesses and everyone in general, yeah. especially consumers, is that with COVID nineteen, yeah, they've learnt to actually shop online. Mm. I mean, they're forced to, right? They have to. So more and more businesses in the next 12 months will definitely look at going online some way, either, you know, on social media more, on websites. They will funnel a lot more um, exposure through online shopping and online marketing. That's a given. That makes sense, that makes sense. You know, like, so what do you think? Uh, I think obviously with most, most businesses going back to sort of some sort of normality, you know, like I think a big focus should go towards um, helping these businesses look at people that are specialized in social media marketing because most of these small businesses are so focused on making their products you know or mm. selling a food product or something like that but they forget the the marketing side when it comes to like facebook instagram at the moment because everyone is on their phones right so mm. i think the businesses that are succeeding faster than everyone else are the, are, are, are the businesses that have some sort of online infrastructure in place you know like for example, say mm. me and you both know this, you know, the businesses that did super well, look at the big corporations like uh, Amazon, uh, Facebook, eBay, Alibaba, were made record sales, you know, yeah. and I think if they keep that same sort of mindset on with, yeah. with smaller businesses, um, because if something like this happens again, we're going to, they're going to make sure that they can sustain it mm -hmm. online, you know, through online sales rather than people walking through the door. You know? Yeah, I couldn't agree more because um, if you if you see you know from from a business perspective, mm -hmm. and if you look at you know what the supermarket is doing, because obviously COVID you know actually ramped up their sales, right? And now more than ever, yeah. Countdown is increasing more and more value into into their infrastructure for online sales, online pickup, yeah. delivery services for their supermarket groceries yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. So. That's just a given that mm. they know that this is going to happen in down the line and more and more people will shop online mm. because of convenience, because of all this stuff. And obviously if there is another COVID-19, yeah. they're ready for it. 100%, that's yeah. right. You know, I think most, all of the viewers, they, or most businesses that are watching this, you know, the hard question is, that, is mm. how, are, how are content creators actually gonna show these businesses value? because that's what they're worried about. You know, they're, they're worried about spending yeah, 500 bucks on like a, a, a content that's gonna last them maybe six weeks, you mm -hmm. know, or, or a couple of days. How is how are we gonna be able to show them value that this is actually gonna make impact mm -hmm. for the long term, you know? So do you have any advice on that? Yeah, I think keeping it consistent, yeah. um, right? So you gotta, when you play an online game, an online marketing strategy, you have to keep it rolling, you have to keep on going with the content yeah so obviously having content that actually exposes your brand yeah lets people know what you are actually about yeah. and more and more people will actually find your online brand by going through these online channels yeah um you know back in the day you could market you know locally right yeah. local businesses marketing locally you can only get your market share within a local market but now if you go online there's endless opportunities yeah you, know, you can you can market to millions of people you can go global yeah you know, that's that's the that's the key and that's that's what people need to see yeah 100 okay. man i agree with you You know like a lot of insights at the moment with that especially jobs right mm. and um in, in the marketing industry like most of these businesses had a big budget for advertising overseas you know like so maybe do you think because of COVID 19 and the travel restrictions like the focus has shifted to local marketing and making sure mm. they attract local audiences. You know, like everyone here in New Zealand, pretty much every every tourism industry is looking at targeting businesses locally to get people out of their house and traveling around New Zealand and spending money at restaurants, bars, things like that. Mm. So.